Hi guys, dear friends, colleagues, my name is Alex Makarov. I will share with you one secret in DaVinci Resolve. Guys, look, maybe you know I have a project in Ukraine. Hair tales for children in Ukrainian language. The project is called Kazinka UA. We work with actors, actresses. In general, we work with famous people who read fairy tales for children. This project is completely free. Look, guys, this is a really famous actress in Ukraine, which name is Fatima Gorbenka. He a really beautiful Ukrainian girl. Okay, guys, I agree. What I want to say? It was we who recorded such a joke post during the recording. Well, in general, this is a such comic post for promotion of our YouTube channel, which was originally made in the Instagram post format. It's now originally made in our 1080-1080 format. And I want to make a story out of this post, as normal people do in general. And of course, I don't blame them for anything. But if you want to adapt the format to a story that has already been previously rendered for a post for Instagram, to do this, I have to quickly find where the timeline is. I have to duplicate it, duplicate timeline, here I have it. Ok, let me immediately rename it to stories. Like this, for example, as normal people do. Right-click on the timeline settings file. Here we can change the format from 1080 to 9020. Here the scale full frame with crop settings must be set. I initially have it in the settings so that I don't suffer our time I created a new timeline. I create a new timeline. Here I have image scaling. Here is scale full frame with scrub. It is very convenient when you are just created a timeline. So look guys, in order not to climb here every time, not to take so many actions to remake your format for stories. There is a very good method using the cut room, or you can call it cut tab. We go to the cut room, we go over here, and over here we have the Instagram format. It's called portrait. Great, we have a new format. Basically, you can get it directly from the cut room. We have a quick export function. Press export and the format is rendered. And the file is rendered. But if to be honest, I don't like to do this. Because by default we can only get the move format from the cut room. And it's not very convenient for previews when you threw it on Instagram, Telegram, the Facebook and so on. For some reason, this can be changed in MP4. So I don't use this function. I go back to the Deliver tab. Here I change the format to Stories. I already have 1080, 90, 20 here. It automatically picked up to the new composition. Just ask him to render me a new composition. Thus, we will already have a new format for stories ready. Well, I see here I was a little wrong, because I did not move the Cousin UA logo when I showed you. Now we can fix it very easily. So I think we will put it here, so that we don't close our eyes somehow it will be quite acceptable like this. And we will render it again. Let's replace the file and render again. Does it make sense, guys? Please tell me. Ok, I think it's completely understandable. Let's get a look. <coughs> yes, I probably know some secret in DaVinci Resolve. Guys, great thank you for watching my video. If your children love to listen the fairy tales in Ukrainian language, I leave a link in description for my Telegram channel. All love, peace and kindness. Glory to Ukraine.